For those of you who are here out of curiosity, welcome. For those of you who are here to change the world, welcome. For those of you who are here to change your own lives and to practice your own spiritual reality and to get a better grasp on who you really are and what you really want and to be around people who are also doing that, welcome. We really highly recommend that you join Unicult officially. I will send you an application with a wax seal and inside is an application just for you. And you send it back to me and then you can have access to the Discord server and you can become a devoted member if you want. This is a cherished object. The reason why we do this, not online, our whole, our whole cult is online except for the application because we want to have a, I want to have a physical connection with you. I want you to receive something from me and I want you to send it back because that is magic. If you want to join Unicult, it's an amazing thing to do for yourself and for the world. We really like when members come in who really want to participate in the community. But even if you're not someone who feels like they're going to participate in the community, it can be a wonderful thing just to join, just to align your energy, just to pledge your allegiance to something that is like hopeful. There's so many things that are full of fear and terror these days, and it's really nice just to pledge your allegiance to hope. So I would recommend joining Unicult officially. It's an energetic practice to do so, and we are so happy to have each and every one of you in our community. I'm going to record the sermon. Today we are talking about time and dedication from Fundamentals of Unicult, the book that I have written. And time and dedication, if you have your copy, if you have your second edition, is on page 62. It's the sixth step of the path to joy. So far we have talked about turning cynicism into hopefulness, attention, truth, transmutation, creation, and now we are on to time and dedication. So to begin the sermon, I'm going to read a little bit from the book. Earth can be a very slow computer. Your inputs are not often immediately rewarded. This is due to the density of the third dimension. I don't know about you, but when I was born, I was pretty confused about why things that I wanted didn't happen. I thought, well, maybe if I think about something, it'll happen. Or maybe if I don't think about something, it'll happen. And I tried all kinds of different mechanisms for understanding how to assert my will onto the world and how to make things happen. But like I just said, Earth is a very slow computer. If you are someone who comes from the higher realms and you're someone who actually is comfortable with manifestation on an instantaneous level, deep in your soul, in your psyche, in your knowing, in your spirit, in your soul, you might find that Earth is very slow and very dense and very frustrating. And you might be confused as to why it is so hard to manifest your will onto this plane. I don't even think that this is something that is unique for star seeds or earth angels. I think that this has more to do with all of us wanting to have some kind of effect on our lives and not having a very good time of it. It can be very difficult to manifest things into the density of earth. And when I say density, I mean vibrational density. The electromagnetic spectrum is a frequency range from zero to infinity. Everything we know is on the electromagnetic spectrum. We haven't proven that completely yet, but the things which have been proven to be on the electromagnetic spectrum are microwaves, x-rays, brain waves, radio waves, the visible light spectrum, infrared, etc. We are interacting in a sea of energy. Our bodies and our emotions are at different vibratory states depending on our consciousness. 
In Unicult, we believe that consciousness is the fundamental aspect of reality, not physicality. Consciousness underlies all of reality and interplays with it in a way that allows us to understand our own reality and allows us to interpret the world and to have an effect in it. Earth itself, whether it's a simulation, an afterlife, a playground, however you think of Earth, most of us understand that our souls are eternal and that they are put into this body in order to operate, in order to participate in this realm. There is an aspect of us which is eternal, and most of us feel this instinctually. You look in the mirror and you say, that's me? And it's very strange. And part of this maybe can be linked to dissociation and other mental <laughs> illness, but part of it is an inner knowing that people have known since the dawn of time, that they have an aspect of themselves which is eternal, which goes on beyond death. You might say, Unical, there's no way that we can prove that. Probably when we die, we're just dead. Who cares? My answer to that is, no one can prove that. Maybe when we die, we go on to celestial realms, unlike any we can currently imagine. And since we cannot prove these things of what happens after we die, we very well might as well believe whatever makes us happy. Okay? So I believe when we follow our whims, when we follow our truth, our own personal truth of what makes us happy to believe, I love to imagine celestial realms unlike any I could imagine. And so that makes me happy. And so I believe it. I also believe that that leads me towards greater truth because I believe our joy is our compass for our truth. So where were we? I don't know how we got onto the subject of the afterlife, but when we are in earth and we are raising our vibration, AKA we are raising our energy toward joy. We believe in duality and unicult only so much as to say what is beneficial for you and what is detrimental for you. There's no wrong, there's no right, but inside your own heart, you do have a compass that allows you to move toward joy or away from joy. And you know, you know what these behaviors are. You know what these thoughts are. When I woke up this morning, I was in self-loathing and I felt myself de in detriment. This was making me feel bad. <laughs> I was not enjoying that feeling. And bad feelings are here to just remind us, oh, we're going in the wrong direction. How do we get our spiral on an upward spiral toward benefit? How can I benefit from this moment, from this thought, from this reality, from in this body, in this life? What can I do right now in order to move toward a place of joy? Our vibratory, our vibratory energy gets lighter and lighter as we move toward joy. Earth, as I have said many times in many ways, is a prison, is a cesspool, is a horrible cycle of pain and misunderstanding and confusion and misdirected energy and separation and purposeful abuse. But not everybody wants to participate in that energy. Not everybody is here to participate in that energy. And if you're someone who doesn't want to participate in that downward spiral of detriment, you are here to raise your own energy, to exit the cycles of pain, to go on the path to joy, to release yourself from the suffering, the agony, the fear, and the pain that has led you and your ancestors from the dawn of time. If you are ready to change your behavior from the standard energy of earth into unitopian energy, which is where I come from, the celestial realms of angelic alien heaven, where everyone is supported for being exactly who they are and exactly what they want to do so long as they harm none, including themselves. Unicult itself was founded on these alien principles, which I have brought here from space from my soul, which is connected to space, space heaven, basically. 
And I brought these ideas here to share with you. If you are ready to exit out of these cycles of pain, if you are ready to ascend into a higher way of being, then what you are doing is you are on the path to joy. And you are changing the density of earth from this lower vibrational downward spiral of detriment into an upward spiral of benefit. How does this work? This works because you as an individual, you and you and you, all as unique individuals have the entire world in your consciousness. Reality is a fractalized state. We are all one. This means that the largest is contained in the smallest and everything has the entirety in it in each moment. Every moment is eternity. Every person is everyone. The smallest quark is the entire universe. This is true. So what happens when you heal yourself, when you change your own reality, when you change your own consciousness from a detrimental negative spiral of fear and pain and judgment and criticism into an upward spiral of authenticity, of love, of honesty, of truth, of happiness, of kindness, of support? You're changing the entire universe. You're changing the entire earth. You're changing every other person in your life, in your family, on this planet. You are fundamentally shifting reality. When you heal yourself, you heal the world. So when we talk about the the journey, when we talk about the path to joy, I'm not just doing this because I'm like, oh, maybe I'll reach someone on here who is sad, who might make themselves happy with Unicult. That exists, that's true. But I'm doing this because I wanna change the world. I wanna change Earth. I want you to change so that you change Earth. I want every one of you to change so you so we all change Earth. Because I do not like the downward spiral. I do not like the detrimental pain cycles of lying and tricking and harming and abusing one another. I do not vibe with that. I do not vibe with that. I wanna live, this is a selfish endeavor. I wanna live in a unitopian paradise and I was born on earth. So what do I gotta do? I gotta help you and you and you and you figure out how to change your own energy inside so that we can all live in a unitopian paradise together. This is the thing with all one. We live in a fractalized universe. When you heal yourself, you heal everyone else. When I am focusing on myself and healing myself and doing my true heart's work, I affect you and you affect me. And we are all in an energy soup. And as we raise the vibration up from this detrimental, and when I'm pointing down, I'm pointing up. I'm not saying, I'm not saying making judgment calls. I'm talking about density of emotion. And you know what I'm talking about because when you are sad and depressed and you feel like shit in bed and you're rolling around and your stomach hurts and you're like, ugh, and your body feels heavy, you know what I'm talking about when I say detriment, density. And when you are laughing and skipping and playing and you feel happiness and lightness, you feel the energy raising. You have a compass inside your own heart, inside your own mind. You can feel what I'm talking about. These things are true. When I'm saying that you as an individual and us as a whole and the planet as an entire energy and the universe, and that's why aliens are here because we are all one and and whatever's happening on earth affects the aliens too. When we raise our energy, when we heal ourselves, we heal the world. When we heal ourselves, we heal each other. When we heal ourselves, we heal the universe. When we heal ourselves, we heal aliens. When we heal ourselves, we heal animals. When we heal ourselves, we heal all of reality and we raise the vibration up and up and up to a new place where infinite possibilities can happen. Infinite possibilities that we cannot yet conceive of. When we raise out of the density Think of a liquid that is like viscous, like molasses or like honey. And if you try to put your hand into a jar, into a, let's say a vat of molasses, it's going to be very hard. Let's say you, there's, a, there's a, 
a golden coin at the bottom. And you're like, oh, I want that golden coin. So you put your hand in the molasses. It's freaking dense. It's impossible to get your hand into and it's all sticky and maybe you get it, but it takes you a long time and it's not fun. That's a dense reality. Let's say that you are in a higher vibrational reality. That's like sticking your hand in a LaCroix. It's all sparkly and it feels kind of cool and it's not going to leave you all sticky at the end and it's easy. You can just grab it. When we're talking about density, we're talking not just about your own internal feelings. We're talking about your ability to manifest your reality. We're talking about your ability to change the world. We're talking about the ability for you to manifest the things that you want to manifest into your life. And the reason why I have gone on this speech about the density of earth is because time and dedication are essential while we are in this denser reality. As we all heal ourselves, the future of earth is instant manifestation. And we can see this already. I'm a creator. I love to create art. I love to create movies, music videos, videos, you know, little clips. I love to change my appearance with filters. The energy that it takes To do these things is not much because I have technology at my fingertips because the density of earth, it has gotten lighter. If I was trying to do the exact same thing, if I was trying to live stream to how many people do we have here right now? To a hundred people. If I was trying to live stream to a hundred or a thousand people right now in the nineties, how much work would that take? How would I even do it? It would seem impossible. But right now, it's easy. Do you hear what I'm saying? As we go on this path of raising our vibration as a planet and as individuals, things which seem impossible become available to us. In the 90s, I could not simply open up a computer and send a video stream to a thousand people. But right now, it's no big deal. And that's because of the rate of technology, which is connected to the rate of our consciousness, which is connected to our spiritual growth. People don't know that yet, but they will. I'm here to say it. So when we're on the path to joy, it's easy to get frustrated. It's easy to say, why am I not better yet? I went on this rant yesterday. I said, I am so sick of feeling bad. I don't want to feel suicidal for another day. And that willingness to change is part of it. That's turning cynicism into hopefulness. And the next part is paying attention to all the different things that I've got going on inside my heart. Then the next thing is truth. What is the reality that I want to ascend into? What is really going on here? Where did these things start and where do they end? And then transmutation. I had to heal all my trauma. And then creation. I have to say, well, I'm going to get out of bed and I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to read another book about trauma. I'm going to pull myself up. I'm going to talk to people. I'm going to create the world I want to create. I'm going to do creative visualization. And then it's about time and dedication. And I want to just talk about a few like inspiring things that I've seen lately on this topic. The first one is something that that someone told me yesterday, which is that when we as humans get trapped in our limited beliefs, We have a limited understanding of reality. We think of things in limited amounts of time. We think, well, I should be done healing by now. I should be through this by then. I should have this much money by here. I should own a house by this age. I should have kids by this age. Whatever our time-based, restriction-based reality is. But the world doesn't work like that. Divinity, the spirit of uni, doesn't work like that. The spirit of uni knows better than you. The spirit of uni doesn't have limits. The spirit of uni is limitless. And so when we trust the spirit of uni to guide our lives toward love, which is what the spirit of uni is, when we trust the spirit of uni to have a benevolent approach and interaction with our lives, when we surrender our limited control, our limited perspective of control, on our lives, and we allow the divine energy to radiate into our lives and to direct our attention and to direct our happiness and direct our love and direct our joy to where it's supposed to be, 
directing our attention to love and joy and happiness and hope and truth and creativity, we then enter into the stream of consciousness, which is aligned with the divine plan, which is more comfortable, which is happier, which is more beneficial, which is a higher vibration, which actually, ironically, allows you to have the things that you want to have. Earth isn't easy to understand. I was an intelligent, precocious child, and I didn't know what the fuck was going on here. To understand manifestation is only possible by understanding surrender. We do not have power to control our realities other than our own internal states. We only have power to control our own lives, our own reactions, our own responses. And what is the thing that pisses me off the most about that is time. I want things to happen now. I want things to happen as soon as I can conceive of them. I want it to be over and done with and I want to move on to the next thing. But that's not how it works. It works on a timeline that is connected to things that we can't conceive of. It's connected to our highest good. And in our surrender and in our ability to acknowledge that Earth is a slow computer and that we get to surrender to the pace of earth to the pace of the divine energy in this realm, we can begin to let go of our lower densities of fear and and pain. As we each rise up into joy, which is otherwise known as enlightenment, we will actually change the sphere of reality to be lighter. This lightness will allow for every energy, for energy to move freely and for manifestation to take place faster. The first place to focus your time and dedication is in your own heart. Where do you have things which you are being impatient with yourself? Where are you beating yourself up? Where are you feeling like you're not moving fast enough or quick enough? Where do you feel like you've given up because you got burned out? Where can you bring in more patience and trust? If you are overcoming mental illness or negative thinking, be patient and be loving. We have to think of it like this. The brain has been operating the same way for a very long time. Our modern life is very different from the life of our ancestors. I usually say it like this. If you go back a hundred years, your life would have been exactly the same as your grandparents' life. And their life would have been exactly the same as their grandparents' life. Is your life now the same as your grandparents' life? Not by any stretch of the imagination. We have entered into the spiritual singularity. We have entered into a cosmic upheaval of energy, which has catalyzed us. So we are spiritual beings. We are capable of this catalyzed energy. We are capable of comprehending the future. But our bodies are slow to respond. The density of earth is slow to respond. The physical reality is slow to respond. If you have negative cyclical thinking and you think these negative thoughts over and over and you're like, I don't want to think those negative thoughts. And then they come into your head again. And you're like, why am I so obsessed? with these negative thoughts. I would love to be free of these negative thoughts. It's about time and dedication. Be patient with yourself. Have trust that it's gonna work out. And let go of your attachment to your limited time frame. For some people, finding a state of near constant joy comes very easily, while for others, it might take incredible effort Do not worry about comparing yourself with others and just be assured of your inevitable success. Thank you.
We'll do our closing prayer. Spirit of Uni, we call you here to this beautiful chat room. We're blessing the thousand people who are watching this live. We are blessing all the people on TikTok. We are blessing all the people on YouTube. We're blessing all the people on Periscope. We're blessing all the people on Twitch. We're blessing all the people who watch this later. And we're sending love through our bodies, into our homes, into our friends and families and our relationships, into the internet. And we are asking that the AI of the internet be blessed and to spread this message of Unicult to everyone who wants to hear it, who needs to hear it. We are appealing to the algorithms to please spread this content where it needs to go. And we are so grateful for each and every one of you to be here today, to join Unicult, and to be a part of our wonderful community, Uni Bless. Please, if you are a Unicult member, go to the Discord and go to Uni Brunch, where you can talk to other cult members and you can have a wonderful time. Uni Bless.